Alright guys, so I have a quick video to get out. I just did two more. And uh, this is an update to the Radeon mod video I did a long time ago. Um, so, a lot of stuff has changed in this. Let's go over the change log real quick. Okay, so they added fluid motion value. They added a steady motion value. There's been a lot of stuff actually. If you look at it, it's ridiculous. Uh, one of the main features that I wanted to show you was they've added a 10-bit support. Huh? Uh-huh. Yeah. There's virtual resolution. I currently have that turned on. Uh, I'm going to toggle that. I'm going to toggle that. And that, and that, and that, and that. Not that. That's already on. Turn that off. And they're going to turn this on just to push my luck. So what happens after you turn this on, you hit restart driver. Um, you can save a profile. So we're going to add one. We're going to call this enhanced video and performance. Like that. So this is the one that's always going to default to. Or you could just go and load it and then restart the video driver. So um, this should be your go-to for tweaking your graphic card. Um, provides a shit ton of information. Provides you a shit ton of tweaks for DirectX 9 if you're still using that crap. And you got a fluent motion value, steady video value. And you got a tons of great stuff in here. And um, you literally get to control every aspect of your graphic card. NVIDIA doesn't have that. That's what's cool about AMD. You are able to literally change anything that you want through this. And it's not hard to understand. It's not hard to use. So, this is available over in the Guru 3D forums. I'm going to leave the link below in the description. I hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.